Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to make a video about why I don't use the words slut and slutty in my vocabulary. When I was growing up, I heard people use these words quite a lot, especially the word slutty, and they would use it often to describe the way that people were dressed, but they'd also use it to describe people's behavior. And the first observation I made, people almost only ever use these words to refer to women or girls. Have you ever heard a man called a slut? I have a few times, but it's very rare, and it tends to sort of get people's attention, and people tend to laugh about it, and it doesn't seem like people are really taking it very seriously. It seems like these words are only referred to women and girls. And that really bothers me, because if you look at people's behavior, like if you look at promiscuous sexual behavior, like people who have sex with a lot of people, uh, women are typically referred to as a slut. But what do you call a man who does that? You have these other words out there, words like player, womanizer, uh, things like that. And those terms connote different things. Like the word slut tends to connote like a lack of self-control, whereas the words used to refer to men tend to connote being in control and often kind of using or manipulating others. And these words, they live in this broader context, this whole way of thinking about sex, like a paradigm. And this context is one in which sex is something that men take from women. Uh, and that really bothers me. That's not how I think about sex. I think about sex as something that uh, I want to share an experience with another person, and I want it to be a mutual thing. I don't want it to be like one person giving and the other person taking. And I think that's true even of like sort of one-sided acts where one person is really focusing on the other person's pleasure. Like, I don't necessarily see that as like giving and taking. It can still be this like mutually gratifying and positive experience for both people. So anyway, uh, back to the word slut. I really dislike this word because it's sexist, and it's used to criticize women and not men, but I also dislike it because it lives within this sexist and kind of unwholesome way of thinking about sex and sexuality. There's another reason, though, that I dislike the word slut, and also especially the word slutty which is that it's often used to describe clothing and attire. How often have you heard people say, oh, look at that girl, she looks so slutty, or like, why do girls dress so slutty? Things like that. And that really bothers me, because there's this sort of mingling or mixing of these two concepts there. There's the idea of sexual behavior and, like, promiscuity, and the idea of how you dress. Um, like specifically dressing with clothing that reveals more skin. Now for the most part, again, I only hear this label slutty referred to women because they're clothing. It's maybe less of an issue because men don't tend to wear as much revealing clothing in our society, but you certainly see men going around with their shirts off, and I've never heard anyone call a man slutty or a slut because he's not wearing a shirt. And, uh, yet I've heard that term applied to women because they're wearing, like, a halter top or a tank top or something like that. So, obviously there's a double standard there. But I also just really dislike the jump, the sort of jumping to conclusions, the logical leap from assuming that because a person is dressed in more revealing clothing, that that says something about their sexual behavior. I know a lot of people, and I've talked to a lot of women about why they dress the way they do. And one thing that I've realized is that there are a lot of women out there who wear very revealing clothing. They might wear short shorts, mini skirts, they might wear like crop tops, they might wear tank tops that show off their arms and shoulders, and they might dress like this frequently and yet they're very reserved in their sexual choices. I know a number of people like this who are waiting till marriage for sex, 
for religious reasons, but they choose to wear more revealing clothing because they like the way it looks, and they like being positive and open about their bodies. So this whole assumption of, like, dress equaling sexual behavior is completely wrong. It's also wrong in the other direction. I know some people who don't reveal their bodies in that way, and who are very promiscuous. So it kind of goes both ways, and that association is just really flawed. And I find it really disrespectful and degrading when people use that term slut or slutty to label a person on the basis solely of how they're dressed. It's making this huge assumption about the person, and it's kind of devaluing them and then it's also passing this judgment about the sexual choice itself, which I also don't necessarily have a problem if people make sexual choices that are different from my own. I think there's a point at which uh, there's certain choices that I have problems with, but like, that's kind of a separate issue, and I feel like it's not something that I want to talk about ca by casually dropping this label, this like sexist, degrading label on someone. So, I hope I've explained why I don't like these words. I hope that you've gained some insight. I suspect that most of you watching this have probably been exposed to most of these ideas before, but maybe you've gotten some new insight into how to articulate why you don't like these words when you're talking to people who use them. So, thank you, and as always, I really appreciate when people subscribe and share my videos.